How's it going everyone? Famine52 back again and today we're continuing on with Monster Hunter World. Let's get going. Alright, welcome back everyone. So in the last episode we took on our first Anjanath as well as the Zora Magdaros quest. Um, made our way to the Coral Highlands for the first time and encountered a few new monsters there. Uh, and we got a quest, uh, in order to hunt another one of those monsters in order to get a ship airborne. In between episodes, I have done a, a little bit of farming. Uh, I have, uh, farmed out all of the material or all of the weapons and armor from the three monsters that we found in the Coral Highlands. Um, I also, for whatever reason, for Valentine's Day, I guess, um, Monster Hunter and Capcom have decided to bring back the winter event. So, yeah. Not sure why, but anyway, let's go ahead and accept our ballooning problems quest. Because this should actually speed things up for us a little bit. The assigned quest, there we go, right there. And we'll be hunting a. I forget how to pronounce this guy's name. Like, Palamuno? Alright! Be careful. All right, so here we are back in the Coral Highlands. Oh, yeah. And let's go ahead and jump on down here. And we can track the the inflated bat guy thing. He is going to be down this way. Um actually next to a honey spawn, I believe. But yeah, let's go ahead and make our way down this way. Um, it is worth noting. If I can find it, and I can't remember if I, if I did this in the last episode or not. But it is worth noting that these things can be captured if you want them. Which I failed. Uh, I do suggest crouching up to them. Uh, just because they do spook relatively easily. Yeah, we got some fire herbs right here and we're going to go ahead and hop over at this ravine um it is also uh, probably worth bringing up I have been farming out all of the weapons and armor in between episodes um, I don't know how much longer I'm going to do that. Here's this guy right here. Oh, but anyway, as I was saying, I don't know how much longer I'm going to do that. Uh, not that it is necessarily difficult or anything like that. Um, but Nox himself, because of the farming I've been doing for all of that, he's actually completely mastered the, the trap cages thing. Uh, so he now has access to the various bombs and stuff. Um, but also, other than that, it has taken me over a day. Honestly, closer to two days in order to get all of the uh, materials needed for all of the weapons. And honestly, I'm probably never going to use anything other than the gun lance and occasionally the probably the, the hammer uh, so I, I don't need to have the insect glaive I have no desire to figure out how that thing works um, 
if slash when I ever decide to use like a great sword or a long hammer, I could figure out what materials I need at that point. So it's just not really all that necessary. But anyway, this guy, uh, Palamu. As you can see, he is a little inflatable bat guy. He's got a, a neck sack that he actually uses on the weapon like we just saw. When he is uh, puffed up like that, he will move a little bit more erratically. Uh, he will also use some of the air that he has absorbed in order to push you around from time to time. So just be wary of that. Other than that, relatively simple fight. Unfortunately, you, even though I'm pretty sure they used the same skeleton uh, for the, uh, the Pookie Pookie, you unfortunately cannot sever his tail. Which, I don't know. I feel like having that big old otter tail, like, as a sliceable would be pretty, uh, pretty cool. And it's something that I would really enjoy doing. I don't have it as a sliceable. But as you see, he has ran, so we have to go on up here. Um, when you are fighting the monsters here on the Coral Highlands, they will all eventually make it to this area um, during the fight, this little upper area right here. So just be aware. And while you're here, as you can see, chances are you will encounter other monsters. Like we just uh, got our inflated bat uh, flashed by... I forget how to pronounce his name. Oh yeah. Use it to your advantage. This is not going to work. Use it to your advantage as you can. Probably the second best uh, Palico equipment. So we are probably going to uh, to start an expedition after this hunt, so that we can go ahead and get that. I personally uh, feel like the the traps are the best, and then the the, uh, the equipment that you get here from the. Grimmelkin on the Coral Highlands. If I remember which one is correct, actually now that I'm thinking about it, is probably the second best. I really like the traps because I really like capturing monsters. So having having my Palico uh, trap, really anything, is very, very, very useful for me. Uh, but other than that, the one that we will be getting here uh, it will allow your Palico to actually steal monster items. So just while you're fighting, um, like without without even carving, uh, you will just randomly start getting monster items. Let's go ahead and have Nox drop a... a why, could, why would you drop it over there? Why would you drop it over there? Oh, hey, it still works. Cool. So let's go ahead and crap. Darn it, I was not fast enough. There we go. Have to use one of my own. It's nice whatever. work, partner. Let's hurry back to the research base. I'm starving.
and let's see we get a scale webbing another scale oh let's see where we get the nourishing extract all right yeah very well moving on At last, the balloons have been rigged and the airship is ready, all thanks to you and the airship engineer. We've completed preparations on our side as well. We can depart whenever you are ready. However, I do have one thing worth mentioning. We never bothered with a test flight. That's not going to be a problem for you, is it? <laughs> oh, of course not. Uh, when we're ready, just say the word, and we'll make our descent into the Rotten Vale. Uh, shouldn't you prepare before you head down to the Rotten Vale? We will, we will. Engineer, what do you have to say? Right. Right, I meant to tell you, I was wandering the Coral Highlands looking for materials for the airship, and I got to thinking. It would be a lot easier to move around the Coral Highlands if I put together a, a rope lift. So I put in a request at the resource center for the parts I I'm need. counting on you. I think it'd make things a lot more convenient, so it'd be great if you could help out. I'm counting on you. Very well, so we need some shamo sides and some sturdy bones, which we have plenty of. Can I turn that in here? I forget. Hmm. Nope, this is the provisions. Nope. Hey, partner. Let's see. Elder Melder. <laughs> nope, can't do anything there. Is it you? No, that's the smithy. Is it you? Nope. You're the palico lady, right? Oh yeah, so it appears as though we can't do anything here. Oh, of course. I did one quest and I unlocked two tiers of equipment. Of course. Anyway, let's go ahead and take a look to see if I unlocked any, uh, any usable gun lance stuff. But I actually unlocked three tiers. So... Yeah, I can actually upgrade a fair bit of stuff. Ooh, hello. Let's go ahead and, and push this a little bit. See what we can do. All right, so I was able to upgrade my uh, my gun lance there. Uh, I'm going to need to do a little bit of farming to upgrade anything else, but let's go ahead and head on back to the Coral Highlands. Uh, we're going to go ahead and go to Camp 12. And it doesn't actually look like they're here right now, so let's go ahead and take a look. I might need to rezone this area a few times uh, to get the Grimalkin in. If I'm even looking at the right area. I might have been looking at the wrong area. Huh. 
They're below me, right? Yeah, there they are. Beautiful. Let's go ahead and hop down here. And I believe they should be hostile to us at first. Yeah, they are hostile to us. So let's go ahead and uh, take out them and their mounts. If I could hit them. Jeez. There. Ow. There we go. Oh, that didn't kill him. I thought that was going to be no Thank you, Nox. And now that they are down, uh, we can move down this way. And follow them to their den. Ooh, outcrop. I'll tell you what, I had to respond to a lot of the, Zero, the Zord Magdaros uh, uh, SOS flares because I needed a lot of Dragonite armor, or not armor, Dragonite pieces, and it is just difficult to get when this is the only map available to you with the Dragonite. Anyway. Can I go under the waterfall? I did not think I could. Or am I thinking... I'm thinking of down lower. So swim under the waterfall and you will find your way into here. And here we have our Grimalkin. Hey, what's the big idea, you big jerks? I was all set to take that thing down myself. What seems to be the problem? Uh, we'd be happy to help you on behalf of the Research Commission. You mean it? Oh, sorry about before. Well, when I get all pumped up on on the melody, I I can be a little hot-headed. Oh, they might actually be the Hunting Horde one. Hold up. Uh, truth is, they're a pair of Titiyaku uh, giving us troubles, uh, giving us troopers a really hard time. I decided today's the day I take care of them for good, so I uh, hopped on my Shamos and rode out. Uh, if that's the case, uh, we'll gladly lend a paw. I'd welcome the help. Uh, you're very generous for the offer. Uh, then let the hunt begin. We'll show the two of them the power of our song and steel. Very well. So from the sound of it, uh, I was wrong. This is not the part, uh, the part breaker. Um, troop. It is a uh, troop that actually gives you like the ability of a hunting horn. But I'll go ahead and do that quest uh, off off camera. We are about to go into the Rotten Vale, so I would recommend if you haven't done this already. Um, to head to, I do it out of Stara because I know where, where this guy is just without needing to think about it, but go to one of the shops and buy, buy an item or two. I will go ahead and show you what that item is in a second. All right, and that item that I would recommend buying before going into the Rotten Vale is going to be the Astera Jerky. Uh, it is a juicy dried meat. How is it juicy and dried? Anyway, uh, made by Astera Chef. Uh, boosts natural hearing and cures bleeding. So the first monster that we're going to be encountering uh, in the Vale that does not uh, do bleed. Although uh, I believe it is technically possible to run into him. So you want to make sure you have that. And you are also going to want to make sure on your loadout uh, that you have the, the jerky, of course. Uh, but you also are going to want to have null berries. Because the Rotten Vale is an obnoxious place. 
uh, because it is just death. Uh, it has a kind of miasma to it that will constantly drain your, your health. Um, so you want to be able to deal with that. But let's go ahead and head back to the research base. Uh, shouldn't you prepare before you head down to the Rotten Vale? And talk to the uh, Third Fleet Master. Now is the time. Ready to descend into the Rotten Vale? Why, yes I am. All right. First, we need to look for a place to touch down. Uh, once we reach our destination, you may depart and make camp preparations. Uh, then it's back to the usual order of business, finding Zor, Zor Magdras' trail. Now, I want you to pay close attention while you're down there. Uh, think long and hard. What is the Rotten Bell? How does it connect to the Coral Highlands? <laughs> well then, off we go. Hey, over there. What do you think? Hmm? Uh... <laughs> Very well. This will definitely complicate setting up camp. I know. Catch! Phew! <laughs> when in doubt, burn them out! partner all right and that uh, little hmm. cutscene is in order to show us uh, first the monster second that the miasma that's down here uh, you could actually burn it out with the uh, with the, with the torch pots the rotten veil jump on down here ooh we are actually going to encounter one of my favorite monsters to fight in this game um i wouldn't say that he's like my favorite monster in the game there are definitely better monsters in the game uh, there's just something very satisfying about fighting this guy, though. Uh, he is covered in breakable parts, and I just... There's something about his derpiness, I guess, and the way he fights that I just absolutely adore. Uh, but in order to start that fight, let's go ahead and come here to this bone pile. And 
not that I ever use it, but I believe that's to actually show that you can knock down the giant bones. Now that I think about it. Hey partner! He's under one, right? Oh. Oh hey, it's still hit. Cool. Watch yourself! So this guy is covered in bones. Uh so they do act like an armor for him. Uh, Proceed with caution! You do want to attack him to break those bones. Like I actually have already done on his chin, and I just did it again. I feel like I am over geared for this area. Well that's fine. But yeah, um basically all of the big bones that you see, if you attack them enough, they will Nothing break and they us. will disappear and all of that good jazz. If you can actually hit them. His tail is severable. What did I just do? Don't know. Let's go ahead and start tenderizing that tail though. Derpy little roller. So satisfying by fighting him. Get to the tail! Get to the tail! I need to heal. I forgot to eat. That might be a problem. It should tenderize that tail for us. Yes, it did. And we have actually taken out quite a fair bit of his armor. Nox actually placed a shock trap for us. Yeah, there it is. So if we're lucky, or if we need it, uh, we can actually use that to to uh, stun this guy for a second. Should sharpen, but getting him down like that. Oh, Nox. You. My good, my good sir. Are very mean monsters. Your run roar? That was your that was your run. Alright, so while he's running, let's go ahead and sharpen. And there are, or at least there should be a like another bone pile or two down here that we can grab. I'm not gonna worry. Ooh, ancient fossil. Yeah, I'm, I'm not gonna worry about finding the other bone piles. Let's go ahead and follow. Okay, was he up here? No, this is a place we can't go yet. If I remember correctly, he does not go into the Fluvian. But the uh, 
the monitor lizard does. Tenderize that tail again. There we go. I knew it had to be close. Give me that car. Beautiful. We got an oil shell. you go did you go up this way I feel like you went up this way I can't for I can't believe I forgot to Oh well, let's go ahead and eat some rations at the very least to, uh, to max out our stamina. Definitely overgeared. Oh well, that's perfectly fine. Let's see, do I want to catch him? Or do I want to catch the Gyros? Actually, you know what? With Nox, I can catch both of them. Thunderbug Cage, place it! Okay, well you put that in the wrong area. Let's go ahead and, uh, and pre-sleep powder. Wake him up, and there we go. He has been slept. Now let's go ahead and kill some of these uh, crickets real quick. Any luck they will leave behind a body? No. Oh well. We've got a bone pile here. Good. Is this water death negative? Let's go ahead and heal. I just want to kill one of these little gr grasshopper things and get a body from it just so I could see the parts. But I don't think that's going to happen with this gun lance. So, I say that, let's go ahead and fire a slinger pot at it. 
that still did way too much. Ooh, what if I do this and then clutch bomb? There we go. Beautiful. So now that I have that, I will know uh, what I have that requires their parts. So I'll be able to figure out how much I, I need to farm them. And if you look at my mini-map down there, uh, you will see... Uh, like, where I am right now in the world uh it shows as a as a uh, vine fall trap uh have a monster bash into that and it will basically act as a pitfall trap give me your time to to uh do some pretty nice damage but let's go ahead and head on down here Ugh! This place is filled with that vapor stuff. Don't breathe it in or your health will drop. Is this the effluvium? Be careful not to touch it. Oh yeah, so if you if you look at my health right now, it is slowly but surely going down. If I come up here, I'm actually out of the effluvium. So I am no longer taking the, uh, the tick health damage. Get. Do I get your monster materials for you guys, or do you just give raw meat? Oh, they actually give their materials. Nice. Alright, but let's go ahead and sharpen. And I'm next to a torch slinger, right? I am. That's not what I meant to do. I meant to grab this. And let's go ahead and fire. 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 Can you leave me alone? Please. Thank you. Yeah, so now if you look down here, you will see that the places that I fired the, uh, the torch slingers are actually no longer uh, miasmified. So I need to go deeper, right? Do I go this way? mean to eject that, but okay. And I fired those two off because I got some Torch Slinger right here. This area can be very obnoxious. Why, hello uh, there, my friend. Hey, partner. How about we head back to the research base and take a break? No, I got, I got someone I, I want to hunt. actually gives me divine blessing. I forgot about that. Heal! Yes, 
so this is this area's upgraded, uh... Great Jagras. Uh, he and his buddies do do uh, paralysis damage. So be aware of that. And they are honestly kind of annoying to fight, mostly because they fight mostly in the miasma. If you have your, your null berries and your, your potions and you take care of the magma itself with uh, with slinger ammo and all of that, it shouldn't be too big of a deal. You can honestly probably uh, very much benefit from having the health booster mantle thing while you're down here. Oh, is he limping already, or is that just the way he runs? I think that might just be the way he runs. I gotta travel through it. Great place to farm uh, parachutes down here, by the way. head on up here. He's not trackable right now, right? Oh, I just realized. He probably is trackable. I don't have enough uh, information on him to know that one way or another. So let's go ahead and set up that thunder cage and grab some trank bombs. Let's see if we can get him over here. <laughs> he was trappable. Or capturable, I should say. I'm going to go ahead and uh, and carve these uh, these lesser gyros, so and then I'll, I'm going to go ahead and head back to uh, to the research base. I'll meet you there. <laughs> uh. Huh? It's you two. Um, have we met? <laughs> Sorry, I forgot. You were out cold when I found you. <sighs> I'm from the First Fleet. You folks are lucky to be alive. Oh, hang on. <laughs> she must be the one who saved us. Oh my gosh, thank you, thank you. Just glad you're still in one piece. Fifth Fleet, am I right? <sighs> what are you doing out here? Actually... <laughs> hmm. Mm. This is from Zora Magdaros. I'll see what I can find. I've spent years delving into this valley's secrets. And I'm starting to understand a thing or two. Now it's your turn. Learn all that you can about this place. Next time we meet, we can compare notes. Sound good? Yes. We're on the job. Good. See ya. Alright, 
After that, we of course gain our post quest stuff. Moving on. Yeah, so I am just hitting uh, HR 8 and Nox is already level 24. That is how much farming I have done. Hmm. No sign of Zord Mangros' trail. Disappointing. I suggest you descend further. The fluvian levels will be more toxic, but that's not going to be a problem now, is it? <laughs> Just say the word when you're ready. You should prepare before going down to the bottom of the Rotten Vale. There might not be any turning back once we're there. Oh, I will definitely prepare. You're the researcher. <laughs> I knew there had to be one here. I just overlooked them. Let's go ahead and turn in the uh, the shortcut to happiness thing for the rope lifts in uh, the Coral Highlands. And I still need to fight a Rathian. But we have some, uh, some bounties that we can grab, so let's go ahead and do those. Let's go ahead and talk to the smithy real quick because we did get some new equipment. Let's go ahead and uh, go to armor. Just take a look. Let's see. For the Rotobon, that is what his armor looks like. Gives us slugger, sleep resistance, sleep attack, guard, and bleeding resistance. So, honestly, a pretty good set for hammer uses. And for the Great Giros, we have this with the Plague Doctor mask looking thing. Uh, Horn Mastro, uh, Paralysis Resistance, uh, Palico Rally, Effluvian Expert, uh, which nullifies his damage from Effluvia and resists damage from Acid. Very nice. And then uh, Paralysis Attack. So good on both of those. As for the Palico gear that we get, this right here, here, let's go ahead and uh, take a look at all of it. Uh, this weapon right here, the uh, the Rodabon hammer, is honestly one of the best uh, Palico weapons that you can get. I recommend uh, farming the, uh, the bone mass until you are able to get at the very least this hammer uh, because sleep is a very powerful debuff uh, to be able to apply on monsters so I definitely recommend grabbing that and if you can equipping it uh, before really moving on to anything else And with that being what Nox has, uh, I am also going to go ahead and put um, what's it called? The Mega Barrel. Whoop! That is not what I meant to do. Go ahead and get those back in our set. Uh, but the mega barrel bombs, or the large barrel bombs, in my set. Because one of the best ways to wake up a sleeping monster is with the barrel bomb. But let's go ahead and register this loadout. And we can actually now talk to the feline. Uh, the Linian expert down here. Greetings. 
And I'm just going to skip through all of this. Uh, essentially, uh, let's go to Deploy Safari. Uh, we could... If you have played online, which I have, and you have somebody's uh, guild card, uh, you could use their Palicos. Uh, or if you haven't done this yet, you I believe it will generate random Palicos. But you select them, you pick where you want to go. Let's see, I actually need some Kelby horns. So do either of these have Kelbys? They do not. So with that being the case, uh, we're going to go ahead and choose Route A. Uh, just because having those mushrooms and the Baroth will be relatively beneficial for us. So we just sent those guys out on a safari and uh, after five quests, uh, they, well, after one quest they will return, but you want to do the, uh, you want to let them be gone for the full five to get the full rewards. But after five quests they will return and uh, have uh, monster parts and stuff like that for you set and ready to go. And I believe, if I remember correctly, we have actually unlocked some side quests here in Asteria. So let me go ahead and collect those. Yeah. So let's go ahead and talk to the uh, smart biologist. By the way, this is something that I didn't realize uh, or didn't remember. When you capture a large monster, if you come down here to where the smart biologist is... You can actually see the monster that you just captured. A uh, fun little detail that they Good added to see here. You. Uh, at present, we uh, go-getters are studying uh, Palamu's behavior. Yeah, yeah, Good yeah. Luck. Let's just go ahead and uh, skip through that. Uh, capture Palamu in the Coral Highlands. Very well. I will be able to do that quest no problem. Someone over here wanted to talk, right? Yeah, this person. Hello. Yep, uh, we could go ahead and deliver the the coral bones right there. We have uh, the botanical researcher. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, we are going to need to hunt or slay 14 of those bug things for that quest. And is there anyone else here that wants to talk to us? Yes. The armor, by the look of it. And we also need to slay five ra Raphinos in the Rotten Vale. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and uh, do those off screen real quick. Uh, I will be back when I'm done with those. See you in a moment. All right, and we are back after I did uh, all of the optional us. quests, except for one which I said I would do on camera. Uh, so let's go ahead and do that one now. That is going to be the four-star optional quest, uh, the royal relocation to hunt a uh, Rathian. Uh, and it is going to be in the Wildspire Waste. So let's go ahead and get going to that. Alright, 
Now here in the Wild Spark Waste, I am going to do my little starting loop to gather uh, materials and the such. Alright, now that, that little loop is done, let's go ahead and start tracking this Rathian. See if we can figure out where she is. I do know that over in this area is her nest. I could honestly probably go there, grab an egg, and summon her. She might be over here in two or three. You know what? Let's just go to her nest, grab that egg, see if she uh, see if she comes. Because, if you don't know this, uh, in Monster Hunter World, if you grab a an egg from a uh, monster's nest, it will basically summon them to your location. Oh, there's not even an egg here right now. Well, darn it. But we do have some Rathian footprints, so hopefully this will help us start our tracking. And there it goes. <laughs> so let's go ahead and follow our scout flies and see where they're going to take us I am just assuming it's going to take us to area 2 although that doesn't really look to be the case Oh goody, there's a Dablos here right now. That's someone I'm going to uh, be hunting a little bit later. Uh, he does appear in the story, so we will wait for for that. I'm just I'm not sure if uh, Rathian appears again in the main story, so I want to make sure I hunt her at least once on screen. And yeah, she looks to be in the little swamp bog area. Well, that's fine. Probably don't need the footprints or the gashes, but might as well collect them. Get those research points. Why are you taking me that? Oh, because she's moving. She's now appearing on my map. Yeah, she went to area three. And there she is. Huzzah! I love opening combat like that. And let's just go ahead and whale on her head. Actually, you know what? Instead of her head, go to whale on her head. damage in on that tail, uh, make it a little bit easier to, uh, to remove it from her. Ooh, she almost fell into that shock trap, so hopefully when she stands up she'll actually trigger it. Sleep. Large barrel bomb. If 
Back up a little, then get that wyvern fire. Oh yeah. And get that flash off. Very nice. And there goes her tail. So now she shouldn't be able to poison us. Doesn't mean that she won't do her tail attack like that, but she shouldn't be able to poison. Is she already lucky? Somebody just saw her. He's already living, but I am definitely over here. I don't think she is, but let's go ahead and give it a try. She is changing zones. Let's go ahead and collect that tail. Now what do we get? What do we get? No, just a scale. Very well. Sharpen up and track her down. Let's see. Did she go to her nest? No, she didn't. Uh, she went to Diablos. Oh, no, she didn't. She went to this area right here. I thought that she went further. My bad, my bad. And look at that. Knocks with the bomb cage, knocked her over for me. Very nice. And yeah, she's living. Very well. And she's flying away, so I'm assuming she's going home. So let's go ahead and make our way back to her nest and uh, give her a little bit of a capture, shall we? Yeah, definitely over geared with how fast this is going. This is what, a, maybe a 10 minute hunt? First time you encounter her, it took it should take a lot longer than this. And Nox, so I don't have to waste one of my traps. Can you trap her? And there she goes. Very nice. There's a bone pile right there. Let's see if we can get it before the time expires. We got all three. Very nice. And we got a Rathium plate. Very, very nice. This is either a 3% drop or a 1% uh, drop. I forget exactly what it is, um, but yeah, that is her rare drop, so that is very nice indeed. Huh, and I can now request more items at the Botanical Research. Very well. 
All right, now after our poogie oh, harvest, no, let's go ahead and see if they have anything for me. They do not. I believe I could turn in the the Rathian uh, research to uh, get that you? leveled up. Yes, indeed. And let's go ahead and see hey. what else I can request from these guys. Ooh, I got the mushrooms. I got the mushrooms. Very nice. Uh, I am going to go ahead and do the parish rooms for now. Uh, the flash bugs and the thunder bugs are also good. Um, for the shock traps on the thunder bugs and then the flash pods for the uh, for the flash bugs. But for now, I'm going to do the parish rooms. And with that, yeah, let's go ahead and do uh, the mushroom substrate. And since we are uh, doing something new, let's just go ahead and take all of our honey. And very nice, very nice indeed. Let's go ahead and uh, talk to the fleet master here at the research center. Now is the time. Are you ready to descend into the depths of the Rotten Vale? Uh, yes, we are. <laughs> First, we'll see if you can spot Zora Magdaros' trail from the air. If we find anything promising, we'll look for a safe place to drop you two off. Well then, off we go. Taking. Rafinos. <laughs> they look so free. So, what's the bottom of the veil like? <laughs> I could not say. Though we have learned much, what we have are mere facts and not a single clue to what truth they add up to. We know Zora Magdaros is heading there, but why? The world is full of mysteries to consume us. Yeah, and delicious mysteries to consume. <laughs> hmm. Huh? Hey, I think I found something. Let's set her down. Or not. <laughs> As I thought. Oh. <laughs> its hunting grounds. We should regroup. Hmm. So much for making it down. That loathsome monster is known as Legiana. It rules over all other monsters in the in these skies. As long as it's out there hunting, we won't be able to reach the base of the Rotten Vale. Oh, I had almost forgotten that you that you're a hunter. 
I suppose it wouldn't be too much trouble to ask you to hunt the Legiana before we get knocked out of the sky again. Not at all. But let us go ahead. And before we talk to the handler, let's come down here to the cat lady. Yay! Hey! And uh, collect our stuff. Very well. Hmm. And let's go ahead and send out again. Ooh, got some gathering palicos this time. Let's see, let's see. I'm gonna go ahead and do this bottom one. Uh, because I do need a Kelby Horn still, and uh, I do need a Geratidus stuff, so we might get lucky on this one. And let's go ahead and head out on our quest. Hey, partner! That was a Lagania! Uh, you remember it from before, right? It's the same monster that knocked us into the veil. And the same monster responsible for downing the Third Fleet's airship all those years ago. Unless we take it down, we'll never uh, get the research base down to the base of the Rotten Veil. Slow and careful. And I just hate the word never, don't you? Come on, let's take out that Lagania. Yes, let's. We need to clear the way so we can fly down to the base of the Rotten Vale. The airship will get knocked out of the sky if we don't do something about that monster! That it will, that it will. Now, it wouldn't let me select this camp before, but can I go here now? Alright, so now that we are at this camp, we should be closer to the Lagania. So let's go ahead and run this way. It's up top, very well. And let's go ahead and wedge beetle on up here. Well, hello there. Let's see, she went to that one over there. She abandoned me. Is she going down below? Yeah, she's going down below. Very well. So, back on over here. And if we get lucky, we should... I don't have a health or a food bonus right now. It should be alright. I was hoping that, that I could get the mounted, uh, the mounted attack right there. Apparently not. into the shot trap. Very nice. Up. 
There's our mount. Very nice. What are we doing? There we go. Get this off in her face. I can. And I broke something. Very nice. Looks like I broke part of her head. And come on, look at me. Beautiful. Ahead and sharpen while she's still blind. I'll reload. got two more remaining and you know what now that I'm here let's go ahead and uh, get some of our food up and a uh, food bonus and eat a ration Alright, now our stamina is maxed out, our health is as max as we're gonna be able to get it. Let's go ahead and try this again. One bomb. That's two bombs. Back up a little. And good morning. Ooh, and another mount. Cage. Very nice, very nice. And here comes the first fire. downstairs she's going downstairs very well go ahead and sharpen up and follow her down about the Tetsu right there. Well, that's all right. Ooh, she's limping. Yeah, 
I figured I wouldn't do anything, but it was worth a try. So let's go ahead and head on up to her nest. Uh, I, I love running around maps and just seeing traps that Nox is placed everywhere. And I don't think we should need to heal, but let's go ahead and heal anyway. And move on up. And there's a parashroom right here. That's right. Oh, shush, phone. Alright, and I already know I'm going to capture her, so might as well do this mining right now. Very well. And let's go ahead and have Nox place a trap. And there we go. All right, now we can get to the base of the Rotten Vale. Come on, let's head back to the research base. Will do, will do. Actually, we've got to have the uh, the wind mantle there. Let's see. Ooh, we got one of her plates as well. Very nice. And we are now uh, HR9. And we have unlocked the ability to take on five star quests. Very well. How incredible. You truly are impressive. Now our airship will make its descent into the lower depths of the Rotten Vale. <laughs> Just say the word when you're ready. All right, the time has come. Let's head down to the bottom of the Vale. You know, there's really no reason for us to do that right now. Is going to unlock the final monster in the Rotten Vale, so let's go now ahead and do time. that. Right, let's try this again. Ready to make your descent into the depths of the Rotten Vale? Of course. <laughs> I suppose we need to find a play, uh, place safe enough for you to depart and suitable for camp. Uh, there you shall resume your search for Zora Magdaros. And do not forget my request. You must think deeply. What is the Rotten Vale? I look forward to hearing what you come up with. Well then, off you go. There have to be traces of Zora Magdaros down here somewhere. I have a feeling I know what the Rotten Vale is. Indubitably, I'm glad that you finally figured it out, Handler. Let's go ahead and redo our equipment right there and come here and get our food buff. Mm -hmm. Why do 
just realized that she's wearing a face mask down here. Alright, do we have anything in the supply box? We do. Ooh, and look at that. It even gives you a stare jerky. Which is very important for a monster that we are about to fight. We are in a different location than I thought we were. Very well. Let's go ahead and go figure out what that purple thing is. Bitterbug. Got some crimson fruit. Actually, really don't remember what the purple thing is. Uh. Oh, it's a uh, transport. Got it. Okay. correctly there is actually a rare fish in here sometimes oh. yeah if you're too lazy to fish and you just want to get one maybe two uh, you you could use the the net for fishing kind of takes the sport out of it but it is what it is Look! Scout flies are taking us somewhere. The traces, but I know we've reached the bottom. But what happened to Zora Magdaros? There's no place else for it to go. I think we should split up and look. <laughs> I don't think that's a good idea, Handler. about her I'll go I'll go save her yeah so that uh that big boy is the Odegaron it is a creature that inflicts a uh, bleed Ooh, hello uh, but yeah it is a creature that inflicts bleed which is what the Astera jerky is for uh, the jerky uh, essentially it will uh, negate the bleed effect uh, there are other ways to negate bleed, like stop moving and crouch and all of that. Uh, doing that does take a little bit of time, so I don't particularly care to do it. 
Um, I'd rather just eat a consumable. But if you don't have any, that is something that you can do. And here he is. And his tail is choppable. And he is a fast boy. No idea how I can make a hit right there. I don't have a food buff, do I? If you try to move while bleeding, crouch while standing still until the bleeding stops. So you can do that, or you can not do there. I'll eat and stare at turkey. And that will stop the bleed. Let's go ahead and heal up with the mega potion. And look at that, there goes the tail. Let's go ahead and harvest that tail. Hey, and look, we actually get the tail. And a wyvern tier right there. Ooh, I can actually climb through this. Is there anything fun on this side? Nothing I could do anything with right now by the look of it. So let's go ahead and climb through here. And follow that Otagaron. Might as well heal a little bit also. And sharpen. Beautiful. And hello there, buddy. Do you think that you can get away from me? And 
looks like he actually got affected by the parachute that I accidentally uh, set off. Ooh, and he's limping already. I'll let him go, go to sleep. Uh, I'm gonna collect that, that mushroom right there. And I'll collect this crimson fruit also. All right, now let's go. Uh, let's go capture this boy. Now I don't normally do this way, but something that you can do. smoke bomb or uh, sleep bomb and then set your trap and then when they actually activate the trap they're automatically captured you okay partner I'm waiting for you back at camp all right and can I get these bones before the timer is up I got to No, you're not. <laughs> you're okay. Uh, <laughs> right. I was scared to death. All right, easy, easy. I'm just glad that you're not hurt. Thank you. I was planning to hide until it moved on, but well, <laughs> you saved me the trouble. Now, now, that's enough. Now, we had a deal, don't you remember? Did you learn all you could about the veil? Now, tell me everything. What did you feel out there? I think... I think the veil is where the monsters come to die. It's their graveyard, and this whole land is a vast ecosystem revolving around it. Hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. Come on. You're right. The veil is where monsters come to rest. They sense the end and make their way here. Their bodies become nutrients that feed the coral highlands. From death rises new life. Which, after a cycle, returns to the Vale to die again. It's an ecological marvel. One that easily dwarfs any I have ever seen. Yeah. But, have you really considered the important question? What's that? Who's at the heart of it? What monster could serve as the nutrients for a system this large? What's the mystery behind the Elder Crossing? You know the answer. They die here. Bingo! An Elder's death is the catalyst. The Veil is Zora Magdaros's resting place. Or at least it should be. The clues are all here, but Zora is nowhere to be found. It was drawing in energy, storing it as it moved on. Was it trying to deliver it somewhere? Hmm, I don't know. But I know who might. The first Wyvarians have lived here much longer than us. Seek them out. Look, it's raining life. Ah. 
If only I could live another 300 years. Maybe that would be just long enough to see the end of this changing of the guard. Friends, you go finish this. I want to stay here a while longer. See what death has to give and life has to bring. So that is uh, Odegaron slain or captured. Doesn't look like we got anything too special from him. No. Good work with your field reports on the coral highlands of the Rotten Vale. Hmm. <laughs> If our tracker and the third master both agree uh, about the Rotten Vale, then we can safely assume that that's the Elder Dragon's graveyard, so to speak. We should start focusing the commission's efforts there. The question is where Zor, Zor Magdros is gone, if it's not to the graveyard anymore, and the first wife and the first wife variants might be able to answer that question. I looked into it, and the closest sighting of the first Wyvarians was in the ancient you forest. You can do this! Head there on an expedition and see if you can track them down. Because unfortunately, we're running out of time. The first Wyvarians might be able to tell us where Zora Magdaros is. They might just be able to do that, but let's go ahead and talk to the field team leader. Yo. Uh, yo, just got back. Oh, before I forget, the scholars at the research base wanted me to give you this. I guess the airship engineer gave them some ideas and they decided to put, uh, put this together. Anyway, here you go. They said thank you. I want you to go visit again. Enjoy. So we get a vitality mantle, which I believe while we wear it heals us. Let's go ahead and take a look. Uh, it negates a fixed amount of damage after which the effect expires. Very well. So it doesn't heal us, it just negates a little bit of damage. Let's see, the researcher here wants some Good more. Good to see you. Just who I was looking for. Good you luck. You guys want me to capture an Odegaron? Yep, capture an Odegaron, but hey, you got one right there. Oh well. That's neither here nor there. Uh, looks like... Ooh, the Elder Melder is here. Let's go and talk to her. Hunter, how have you been? As you can see, I decided to move to Asteria. <laughs> From now on, I'll be conducting my research here. Uh, you'll come by to see me often, won't you? My specialty is melding, a technique developed by the first Wyvarians. It allows us to change one type of matter into another. Do you have any items you're willing to part with? Uh, I'll turn them into something more useful, or I'm not the Elder Melder. So, what can I meld for you? Uh, yeah, yeah. Let's go ahead and take a look at this real quick. Let me just go ahead and go through all of these pages. Very well. Hmm. Get exactly what we are supposed to do here. So I'm going to uh, I'm going to play with this a little bit uh, off screen, and I'll be back when I know more. But let's 
go ahead. Let's go ahead and do one of these real quick. And I should be getting the Spring Blossom ticket for this, right? Yes. All right, I'm going to play around with that off screen a little bit, see what more information I can gather. Looks like we have some people upstairs for us to talk to, so let's go ahead and head up there. Yeah. I've got new stock in. Could have sworn that she had a quest for us. Apparently not. Let's go ahead and head to the canteen. Talk to the meowskiller chef. Uh, you're interested in bulking up the canteen, yada yada yada. Uh, take all the quest meat of the matter. Deliver two lumps of meat. We actually uh, found out where those were, so good to know. And then let's talk to the Working fiber hard? bro. Good luck. And he wants to deliver us some um, Shamos hide, which we could very easily do because we, of course, have some. That is everyone here that we could talk to. Alright, so first and foremost, this is what the Odegaron armor itself looks like. Very well. Uh, it's going to be giving us bleed resistance, speed sharpening, constitution, which reduces stamina depletion. Very well. Critical eye, as well as quick sheath. And then it's going to have a set bonus, which it adds a stun effect to draw attacks and slightly increases attack power. Very nice, very nice. And then for that spring ticket, this is what that armor looks like for that. Interesting. Uh, it's going to give us Honey Hunter, Quick Sheath, Paralysis Resistance, Scout Fly Range, and Recovery Speed. Very well. Then now let's go ahead and take a look to see if there's any new uh, gun lances for us from the Odegaron. Which it doesn't look like it, unfortunately. That is just unfortunate. What about Palico equipment? Here is the Palico equipment for the uh, for the Blossom ticket. It is a blunt paralysis weapon. Very nice. And then for the Odegaron. Very well. With a severing, uh, looks like sickle side thing as the weapon. So very well. Anyway, everyone, that is going to be it for today. Thank you so much for joining me. Uh, until the next episode where we track down the first Wyvarians. Uh, this is Famine52 signing out. Peace out and happy hunting. <laughs>